the positive PR ride from the Invictus Games is officially over. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope this video finds you well, as always. So, folks, all of Harry's not hard-earned money that he has spent to try and make these two grifters look good has been flushed down the toilet by Thomas Markle. He has managed to snatch all of the headlines away from them. And believe me, the sugars are big mad about it. And I think it's fantastic, obviously. They're so mad about it because they know this ride has come to an end and Prince William is going to get all the press for the rest of the week. Thomas Markle has painted this woman as the cruel cretin that she is. Let's get started. First up, and most importantly, I showcased this wonderful British wounded veteran the other day, and a lot of you asked what his name was. So I asked Trevor Colt what his name was, and he told me it is Ricky Ferguson, and he is absolutely fantastic. He is a recipient of the British Military Cross for his bravery. And on the left, you'll see him meeting with King Charles. You know, he was good enough to meet with King Charles, but not the two lowlifes, Harry and Meghan, at the Invictus Games. You know, how many, how many more times can I call them disgusting? So if you're sitting around or whatever, let's give him a round of applause or a few claps for, you know, just being so wonderful. Way to go, Ricky Ferguson. You have a lot of support and love from all over the world, as do all of the wounded veterans and veterans themselves. First or er, second up, blind item number three. The illiterate one was far too busy making sure that $100,000 of Harry's not hard earned money in PR that he spent this week on her, on Megan. It's something that was supposed to be about others, that she didn't even say anything about the actor she worked with for years who died. Literally everyone who worked with the actor, even if it was just first few episodes of a show, we all know that's in suit, Suits. Did you guys know that Megan was in Suits? A decade ago had something nice to say. The illiterate one couldn't even be bothered. So I guess this guy also wasn't worth a... One tear left eye go from Megan. Class act. So if you do a search for the headlines today, I typed in Meg well, I typed in Meghan Markle. I didn't type in Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. All the headlines are about Thomas Markle and his the interview he said he gave he gave today on Good Morning. Britain, I think that it was. Nothing about Invictus. Why Meghan Markle reconciliation plea will likely fall on deaf ears. Now that's a negative article, obviously, from Jack Royston. The mere U.S. Meghan Markle slams her cruel actions towards him amid his plea to see grandchildren. Meghan Markle's dad pleads, pleads with her to allow him to meet his grandchildren. There's one thing about Invictus from Vanity Fair, obviously, that's a puff piece propaganda outlet. Harry and Meghan Markle close out Invictus Games in style. Again, their style is so important. From She Knows, the latest attempt from the British media to tarnish Meghan Markle's reputation. And then I love here how she's now being associated with Russell Brand. It says Rus Russell Brand bragged about kissing Meghan in 2020. 10 film. Now, while Megan really didn't do anything wrong there, she's still being associated with Russell Brand, and I'm sure she can't be happy about that. From the Express, Meghan Markle's memoirs could make her millions, but Royal claims it would destroy her. Well, there you go. These are the headlines today. Nothing about Invictus except their one place and their style. From GB News, Archie and Lilibet at center of fresh Thomas Markle plea to Meghan Markle. Now, who can't have compassion from a grandfather who is in poor health just wanting to see his grandchildren? This is not a good look for Meghan. What Thomas Markle said about Meghan in new interview. I'm a really loving father. Thomas Markle says he wants to reconcile with Meghan and longs to meet his grandchildren. Meghan Markle's father, Thomas, says he wants to reconcile with her. Thomas Markle begs daughter Megan to reconcile with his their family, I guess that's what it say, says. And then she knows, again, latest attempt from British media to tarnish Megan Markle's reputation. Uh-huh. 
From ET Canada, Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, is desperate to meet his grandkids, Archie and Lilibet, amid rift. This is a cruel thing to do to a grandparent. Meghan Markle's dad says his daughter and Prick Harry are cruel for shutting him out of his grandchildren's lives. And he couldn't be absolute, he couldn't be more right about that. And now everybody's reading it. Not about Invictus. Jack Royson again. Why Meghan Markle reconciliation plea will likely fall on deaf ears? Well, Jack, you might be right about that it's going to fall on Meghan's deaf ears, but it's not falling on the media's deaf ears. They're listening loud and clear as the public. Thomas Markle has given his first major TV interview since his stroke in May 22. 2022 and said it will not be his last. He also said, I've done nothing wrong. And the people on, uh, um, I think it was Good Morning Britain pointed out that, you know, they weren't, they were a little skeptical, skeptical about Thomas Markle speaking until they saw the, the love story on Netflix and Harry's book. Now that because Megan, Megan and Harry have spoken out so much, they believe that Thomas Markle has every right to speak out also. And, you know, Thomas Markle really isn't speaking out against Harry and Meghan. I mean, I guess he has, but he's just making a plea to see his grandchildren. What is so outrageous about that? He has no other avenues to reach this woman. So what is he supposed to do? The latest, and, and then he also said there, you know, that he... Those two lowlifes are not just doing this to Thomas Markle. They're also doing it to King Charles, which is wrong, too. They're just literally, they're the scum of the earth. The late and this just is bigger. The latest attempt from British media to tarnish Meghan Markle's reputation comes at a t telling time. Well, I have news for you, she, she knows. Her reputation has been long tarnished and through no fault of her own. But of course they have to blame the British media, of course. It'll be the British royal family sooner or later. And, you know, them, them putting the men in gray suits, putting Thomas Markle up to this. And, you know, if Thomas Markle did this on purpose today, you go, Thomas Markle. Way to go. Throwing, you know, throwing wrenches in their spokes. And it, I couldn't like it. I couldn't love it any more than I do. Meghan Markle's father slams her cruel actions towards him amid plea to re reunite. Meghan Markle's dad pleads with her to allow him to meet his grandkid grandchildren. Now, everybody can get behind that. All Mr. Markle did was, you know, he was tricked into it, but all he did was stage a few pap shots. That's all Meghan does is stage pap shots. How can she be mad at him over that? They're Hollywood people. That's what they do. That's what they've always done. How can she, how can, like, that's all she does is pap shots. Crick Harry, oh, and this is slightly different. Crick Harry appears to diss royal family at Invictus Games close. So what else is new? What else is new? But now this is coming out again today. So you have Thomas Markle calling them out, calling her out for being cruel. And now you have the media reporting on that Harry's dissing the royal family again. The Invictus ride is over. And then I saw this from the Daily Beast. Crick Harry, don't judge people on their past pain. Now, I... He said that in the context of the veterans and things like that, but I really think that he's talking about himself here, meaning don't judge me on what I've done in the past. Let's just move forward. Don't judge me on the mistakes I've made and the abhorrent things I have done to my family and a whole kingdom of people. Don't judge me on that. Because it's it's always about Harry and Meghan. Why wouldn't this be about Harry? And you know that Harry has just been through such pain. And this is hilarious from Meghan Narcissus One wearing a <laughs> wearing a refrigerator. You know she always likes looking like a refrigerator. If you li if you've listened to HG Tudor, so I thought this was absolutely hilarious. So that's all I have for you today, folks. Just a quick video. The PR ride is over. Harry's not hard, not hard, not hard earned money has gone down the toilet, and Mr. Markle has made a very shrewd move. Now, if this was on purpose or not, who knows? But it definitely, they deserve it.
They deserve it because all of their PR was fake, so it should go away. If it was genuine and they were genuinely help, helping people, then, you know, maybe it would be a shame. But that's just not the case. Definitely looking forward to your comments. Talk to you later.